guys, it's me, Lucy here, and today we'll be touring a house that just recently went on the market. Right? Let me just drive there. Here it is. This is the house right here. It's a modern mansion. It's listed at $1.5 million. It's listed at $1.5. It has six bedrooms, a nice big garage, and a big backyard. So, shall we begin the tour? Let me just pull up in here. So, when you... I'm just going to park here because it's not my house. So, when you pull up, here is your garage. Your garage is right here. It's a four-car garage. Included over here, it makes the garage a little bigger. But as you can see, this is the garage where you park the big vehicles. Right now, he has a um, Rolls Royce limo, or a Bentley limo, parked up right here. If you come over here, you have a bigger garage right here. And, as you can see, you can, you have a little loop-de-loop. -loop. This is a course for golf. This is a golf course. This house has a golf course. There's a loop-de-loop, -loop and that's for your golf course. Okay, let me come over here. You could drive all the way over here into the back. I don't know who will want to drive into the back, but it's an option you could. Now, let's go through the front door, shall we? So, here is the front door. When you first enter, you have a nice, big, open window. Front door. It's an odd window. Right now, it's an open house, so there's going to be some people touring in it. Here is your kitchen. You have a nice two ovens. A uh, double sink in, in a counter island. You have nice counters, um, smoke catcher up here. And if you come over here, here's like a hangout room, the game room. So you have a nice sitting area, a pool table to game. You have a nice fish tank right here. And that's the game room. And it also has an entrance to the garage. This is where you enter the garage, the only entrance. Might be two. So, here's the master bedroom. It's a nice, big, nice view. Um, a really big bed. It has a, um, a desk right here. Sound, surround sound for stuff. Drawer, and a couch. So, in the master bathroom. Here's the master bathroom. Um, yeah. One point, this is what 1.5 gets you. 1.5 million dollars get you. Let me just exit. So, that's it. This game room is also a part. So, basically, this... Let me... This... If when you enter through the, those cobblestones, you enter to the master bedroom. All of this is a part of the master bedroom. The game room, the garage entrance, and the master bathroom itself. Bathroom. I said bathroom. Bedroom. Bedroom. So, if you come over here, you have a support and pole right here. And here's where the steps leads to. So, that's the kitchen. Let me tour over here. Here's a second uh, outdoor second place so you know it, you can have a barbecue out here hang out you have a DJ booth right here the, oh yeah the person who recently owned this house he was he was he liked to create music and invite people for parties so what that's it for downstairs let's go upstairs this house also includes a helicopter pad and a boat dock the boat dock is unavailable right now. 
sorry. I tr I'm going to try to talk to the people to get it available. So, right here you have your own farm. So, you, if you want to grow fresh veggies or fruits, you, you can do it right here. A fresh farm. Right here you have your mini living room. Here's a mini living room with a TV with a person. Yeah. Here, oh yeah, it has three stories. So, if you come over here, here's what every room in every room in this house is supposed to be a master bedroom. That's what the creator wanted this. But here's the main main master bedroom. Like I said, the master bedroom is downstairs, but this is the main main one. Every room is supposed to be the master bedroom. Because the person didn't want people to be left out when he slept in the house. Like, people to have small rooms so he has the main room. So, like, family and stuff, people didn't want to be left out. So, he made big rooms. So, you have a nice fire pit. You have clothes rack. Even though there is, indeed, no closet. No closet. But, you, if you come out here... You have a nice big balcony. Looking over at, you can also enter from the backyard up here. You have another DJ stand, a nice balcony, and there's the next door neighbor house. Which I'm gonna see that that house is still being lived, and somebody still lived in a window. Somebody still lives in that house. It's not for sale. And you have a hangout area right here. A nice hangout area. With juice. So, that's enough of the master. And all of this is also part of the master. Here's another balcony. It's just a balcony. Let's go upstairs. Look. Let's go to the third floor. So, as you can see, the third floor... It has a uh, coarse roof, roof stuff. This is the mass, main master bedroom um, chimney right there. Not the best view or where to put it, but it's alright. And here is the table, like a mini table. You can sit down. Over here you have a balcony, a grill that nobody, nobody's watching it. So... If you, you have a nice big balcony, if you come over here, you also have a mini office place. Like, it's glass, so you have a mini office place, and over here is another master bedroom. Every room in this house is supposed to be a master, so the main master is on the second floor. Here's the rooms. Here's the clothes for up here. Here's the bathroom. It's not all that big. 1.5 for not the biggest bathrooms. Here's a, another surround sound speaker. If you come out here, it leads all the way to the first floor so you can walk up. And here's the best part. You never removed it. You have a helicopter pad. So if you want to fly some helicopters, you could. Now... Let's take a tour of the backyard of this house. If you walk all the way here, you could also go to the back and put storage right here. Or another helicopter pad, but the blades can hit the roof. So let me just walk all the way down here. I like that feature, how you could just walk down instead of going through the house. So if he doesn't want guests going through the house and just going through the helicopter pad, you have that option. Here's the backyard. You have a, a deep swimming pool that goes to 9 feet deep. I know, it's crazy. 5 feet, that's enough. But 9 feet, it's all 9 feet. There's no different feet. 3rd feet, you have very deep ladders inside of it, so nobody drowns. And you have a nice big backyard. You have relaxing things here, tables, and DJ booth at the beach. Everything to, you know, just hang out at a $1.5 million house. So, if you come over here, it leads into the golf, where you can golf. 
is in over here. It leads you to the driveway, so you can just drive. Ooh, that's a nice car. Somebody thought of it. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this house tour. This house is listed at 1.5. It's on Craft Avenue. Let's see. Let me test out the gates. Oh, that's sweet. It has a little bit of road damage. That's why I'm like a pothole. But it'll get it fixed. But like, let me just close the roof. There we go. My roof is closed. Because it looks like it's starting to rain. I said it. Ooh, um, I said it looks like it's starting to rain. You see? So, I hope you enjoyed this. Oh, my car. I hope you enjoyed this house tour. Okay, the rain is just removing me. Let me turn it off. No. There we go. Settings, weather, clear. So, I hope you enjoyed this house tour. This house sits on one acre of land. So, if you want, you have a little. It's not the best land. You don't have a lot of land, but this house does not have a, a, a dock. It does have a dock, but it's hidden off. I couldn't get to it. Right now, there was a tree that grew here, but it got so big where it blocked a helicopter, so he had to cut it down. And so that's the tour of this $1.5 million modern mansion. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, leave a like, and mm, have a nice day. Bye.